Hey guys, Docker errors can be frustrating. Errors in general can be frustrating. So one common error that pops up a lot if you're new to Docker is the, the error that basically says, like what you see on the screen right here, it says, got permission denied while trying to connect to the Docker daemon socket at Unix of our run docker dot sock. Um, it'll say get HTTP, gives you a little uh, URL, dial Unix, var run docker sock, connect permission denied. And so, um, yeah, ba basically the, the little thing here, permission denied is, is kind of a giveaway. So it shows that it, this, is, this isn't telling us that Docker is down or it's not running or that we have, uh, it, it, it's not telling us that um, we can't reach it at all. It's just saying it, it, it's denying us. So it, it's up which um, like if it weren't running, it wouldn't be able to tell us permission denied. But um, since it's telling us permission denied, we know at least Docker daemon is running. Um, and basically the reason we get this is because we're not running it as root. So um, Docker runs as root, but also Docker writes to, um, for inter-process communication, Docker writes to, uh, to this file, this socket file called var run docker dot sock. So we, we don't have permissions to, uh, to, to, to read or write to that. So um, that's, that's why we get an error as a regular user. So right now I'm logged in as a user called user1, and that user doesn't have permission to write to this, so I get an error. So when basically all you have to do is run a, any Docker command, like say the first one you're likely to ever run when you first start using Docker for the first time after installing Docker, um, you're gonna run Docker PS. And um, that's, that's supposed to show you all of the containers that are currently running. Um, in this case, it gives us an error. It says, got permission denied while trying to connect to the Docker daemon socket. So um, anyways, um, let's see here. So um, this, there's, there's an easy fix. You, you basically just need root permissions. Two ways to do that. You can run as root. Uh, or, or three, multiple ways to do this, Mo more than three. But anyways, the ones we'll cover today are, one, you could just use sudo to, for root permissions. Two, you could just sudo to root and then run all your commands as root, which is easier, but probably not the right way to do it, especially if in a corporate environment. But if you're at home, um, I guess go ahead if you don't mind um, building bad habits or, or good habits, it's, it's a matter of opinion. Um, the other thing you could do is create, you could create a group called Docker and then add yourself to that group, then log out, log back in, and you should have permission to write to this socket. So you just need to be a member of that group. So let's give this a shot. So instead of saying Docker PS, we can say sudo Docker PS. So this will run Docker PS with, with root permissions. And it's gonna ask me for my password. And there we go, now it's working. Now instead of giving us an error message, we see all of our containers here. Um, I probably could have made this terminal a little bit bigger so that you could see those all in a neat little table, but it, it doesn't really matter because we're not really learning how to use the Docker PS command here, we're just learning how to get past this error. So that's that's probably the easiest way to get past this error. Uh, past this error. You basically, instead of Docker PS, you say sudo Docker PS. That, that's really the way most people would do it. That's that's probably the easy answer and the correct answer for uh, most used cases. Another way you can do that, instead of saying sudo docker ps, you can say sudo su and become root. And since we've just typed our password in, it won't ask us again. And there we go, now I'm root. So, um, so we, we can run docker ps and it works fine. And we don't even have to type sudo. So just docker ps and it works completely fine. So exit out of here um, and note if you're running as yourself, uh, you're not gonna be able to um, note this problem is still here. Running docker ps still gives you that error. So one way to fix this is you can run sudo group add docker. So sudo group add docker. And looks like that group already exists. If it didn't exist, that would have created the group. Rep Docker from Etsy. And there we go. 
we, we can grep Docker out of Etsy group and we can see the group is there. So it lo looks like we don't even have to add it if you happen to not have that on your system, depending, then I guess depending on whatever package you use to install Docker, um, you may have to run those commands to add it. So that's what you would do if you don't have it on your system. So um, you could edit this file directly to add yourself or you could use a command to do this. So let's run sudo um, user mod a g docker dollar sign user and this dollar sign user variable variable just refers to whatever current user is logged in so hit enter and i should be added to that group and if you grep the docker group out of etsy group you'll see now user one is a member of that group so let, let's just give it a shot just to see if this works we're expecting it to fail but let, let's just give it a shot docker ps still get permission denied so um, let, let's open a new terminal. Or actually, rather than open, normally you would exit and enter back in, but I don't want to kill this terminal because I have it zoomed in for the video. So I'm just going to create another bash shell. So I'm just going to run bash and let, let's see if that fixes it. Docker PS, um, same error. So. I am going to exit, exit. Okay, good. All right, I was just SSH'd in, so I can just SSH back. And um, here we go. So um, I'm logged in as user one on Fuzzy Fox, and let's let's try typing Docker PS. And there we go. It it works perfectly. Um, basically, you just had to log out and log back in after adding yourself to the group, and then you'll be logged in with those group permissions and you can run docker ps without having to sudo to root and without having to uh without um having to run sudo or anything which is really convenient so that that's pretty pretty nice um and uh one thing you can do if uh like if that doesn't work um i've read in some cases people have to restart the docker daemon um in some cases and that may be if the group wasn't created already and the Docker daemon didn't have a chance to read it on startup, maybe. Um, we didn't run into that issue here, but if you run into trouble, restart the Docker daemon, restart your host, um, are potential fixes. And um, one thing you can do if, uh, um, if you look in the link in the description, there are some more commands in case you run into further issues. So if you use sudo, to uh, write to this, uh, if you if you run your Docker commands with sudo, and then you add yourself to the group and try to run your commands as your regular user, sometimes you you will run into errors then due to the permissions being wrong on on files inside your dot Docker directory. So uh, ls l dot Docker. There should be a hidden directory in your home directory, and uh, looks like I don't have that. All right, so any case, uh, if you have permissions, permission issues with that directory, uh, you basically need to give yourself recursive ownership of that directory. You need to chone it and chmod it. Um, we, we have commands for that. If you look at the link in the description, um, doesn't look like we'll be demoing that today, but if you do run into that issue, um, yeah, there are further instructions for fixing that if you look at the link in the description. So um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give us a thumbs down. If you have any comments, um, criticism, anything you have to say, um, feel free to comment. Um, it doesn't matter if you have something good to say, something bad to say, anything you want to say, just say it in the, in the comments. Um, hopefully this was useful. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. And that, that's all for today.